When, when Steve told me would I want to come on the show this hour, obviously I'd much rather be eating now at White Castle. But I came, I gave up six hamburgers, I'm here. <laughs> uh, because at least I want to communicate to you that, that there is a danger. And whatever you can do, at least you tried. At least we tried. Right. And we, we're going to try and get an injunction. So all we can do is fight the good fight. Agreed. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, hello? Yeah, uh, Al? Yes, hi. Yeah, I was wondering, uh, what you did with that guy with the paper, you know, with, with the central park jogger and the thing like that, I'm glad you did that. Thank you. Because it shows, you know, it shows, you know, you're human being and stuff like that. Thank you. I'm really proud of that. If for you who don't know, the the guy, what's his name, the putz? Uh, whatever. He's uh, the Moore. publisher of uh, the yeah, Amsterdam no, News. Lipman, Bill, Lipman. Bill, Bill, uh, Bill Tatum. Bill Tatum. Tatum. Bill Tatum. Piece of shit. I mean, really disgrace. Uh, Tatum, uh, publisher of the Amsterdam News, which is a uh, junk newspaper like a penny saver. He ran the real name <laughs> of the Central Park jogger. So she was raped in Central Park, and then he raped her. And so I ran his home phone number. And there's no one else who's going to do that. And that's why I think Midnight Blue and the kind of stuff Steve does should exist. And, uh, Al, no question. Where'd you get that rent? It's my mom's. She, she passed away. Right. Thank you very much. You're probably waiting outside with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you downstairs. Steve, Al, how are you? How are you? Steve, this Grand Street. You know, I've been watching for 15 years. You're the greatest. Al, you're the greatest. Thank you. I just want to say... Keep Channel J on, just get Daniel Landers off. We agree with you. <laughs> Dan Landers is, 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 is a guy who had been busted for pimping. He's a low-class slug and sleaze. He has every right to exist, but he's the kind of guy who ran that incest line. He's the kind of guy who runs the water sports. And where is he? He's never fought for First Amendment. He's just a money person. Right. He's despicable and vile. And I frankly hope he dies tonight slowly. <laughs> Steve, take care of yourself. Thank you. Oodles, number one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yeah, what can we do to be most helpful? Tell us. It's a good question. Because Steve would know. He's more constructive. Uh, what can you do? You can call the cable company and voice uh, your opinion that you want Channel J to stay. You can... Uh, you what about politicians, too? Would Solar's help? I mean, I, who would be most responsive to public, to well, public you, you response? Well, got, you got the people who put the pressure on the cable company to get rid of Channel J. You're talking about Ruth Holtzman. You're talking about, uh, you're talking about Liz Holtzman and Ruth Messenger. Uh, you should you should be phoning them. You should be phoning Dick Aurelio. He's he you call up to Time Warner Cable and it's at 1271 6th Avenue and I don't know the phone number and you ask for Richard Aurelio and, and you if you get through to him you tell him if you're not to leave a message with the secretary you want Channel J. Aurelio, you know he was a lousy deputy mayor to begin with. He was the worst. I mean he uh, in a terrible corrupt administration, the Lindsay administration. But I, I don't know what one does, but to do something is at least part of living, and so try. And uh, I think of Dick Aurelio and Dick Nixon. I mean, I guess you, got, you have to have the first name synonymous with prick. But uh, he's a putz. But he, he's also a corporate putz. He would be advertising on Midnight Blue and Gruberg if there was dollars and cents in it. There's a certain pure greed to corporate America. So you got to make it so uncomfortable for them that that because they don't have an ideology, they don't believe in freedom. Just make them uncomfortable. Make the politicians uncomfortable. Say if you don't want to watch the show, don't watch it. But don't take it off the air for those of us who want to. All right, if they take it off, I think we ought to cancel all our subscriptions. Do whatever you well, can. You're not, I'm with you. I don't think you're going to cancel your basic cable because you need it for reception in this town. But uh, you could cancel your HBO and Cinemax. That's the stuff that Aurelio uh, gets paid from. Terrific. Keep up the good uh, you got any, but And I'm going to ask uh, any other callers. You got any ideas on what we should do in addition to this? The only thing politicians react to is uh, pressure. Let's just Fine. Keep Call up. and Right. We don't have much time. We got three weeks. We're going to try and get an injunction, but we don't know what to do. Again, and I think you know, you people out there who know me, I mean, I, I make my money from Screw. Midnight Blue is irrelevant. I just don't want the censors to win. That's, I don't like losing. I don't like to see us losing. I have to also give credit to the New York Civil Liberties Union. They've been a real good ally for us. Right. And yeah. I, I, I salute them. Terrific. Keep up the good Thank part. Thank you very much. Thank okay. You. Yes. Hi, how you doing? How are you? How are you? I've been a viewer uh, for 10 years. Let me send a few. Hello. Hey. Hey. 
Give me that dog. <laughs> yeah, I love the dog. You want a dog? I've been a few opinions. First, Al, I have to take issue with your posture on the show last week that you're not going to do anything about this because you're going to be on the air in November. You have to fight it. We will. We will. Have, you, you need, there should be some sort of demonstration. You'd have a million people show up here for yeah. announced on every Channel J show. We're going to try. It's a good point because we have a friend named Jordan who's recommended the same thing. A guy named Jordan who wants to tell his father where to get off but is afraid to. <laughs> but that's that's another. No, I mean, yeah. is, There's that's a lot of as you're doing it as Robbins on every show from now to October and, and after if necessary should just revolve around this issue it's you're right. important to be you know fucking around with Seeker when this thing is going on no you're right I agree with you I, I, I wasn't I couldn't believe we'd even be to this point I just was I, I was like a schmuck I'm like the, the Jew who felt they're not going to march me off to a concentration camp and uh, they did and I, I just must have been in my own way apathetic well it's time to get a baseball yeah. bat and go after them. So, yeah you're right I, I thank you okay. thank you thank you my, my wife uh, go ahead, go ahead. we know much go ahead. yeah well, your wife well, we got uh, what do we got we got three minutes four three minutes, minutes. Four, four seven five one five five oh now I've got to ask you a question hi yes <laughs> Does have these idiots ever heard of a remote control? You're, you're right. Also, the lockout device. What about addressable? Yeah, the addressable thing. I mean, that's the thing they don't want to talk about. And then actually, Donnie was fair to us uh, yesterday. You can lock it out. What's going out that we just lost all sync and stuff? Okay. okay. W what also happens, though, is what I don't understand is a lot of the censors, the morality and media people, say they not only want to control what you can watch and what they can watch, but they think it pollutes the whole environment. So you're fighting. Finding yahoos, you're finding people who really are afraid of a pro-sex posture. I and find it unduly disturbing yeah. that these people can can parlay this bullshit to all of us, and we have to take it. Um, they're they're, they're I'm winning. Out of this horrible city. I wish I could take you with me. Thank you. They're winning, and we're losing. And no, I, I'm distressed. We're, taking a, we're I'm, taking a beating. I'm 54 years old. I wonder what it would like to be in Germany in the late 30s, and I'm gone. I'm starting to have the feeling if you have. a cold chillness in my heart I'm a when, I see, Allen, I'm thank you. With you, baby. when I see these freedoms dying it's truly frightening my friends and I enjoy you very much thank you very much see you go thank but you. let's fuck these assholes yeah, well, let's fight back let them know how you feel well, I already have. I won't keep, 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 I keep letting them know you guys were talking about Robin Bird a little while ago hey yeah. whatever she is she is but people enjoy her I exactly. enjoy her she's a wonderful person yeah she and is great who are these people people are we funny. all have a right to exist no matter That's how contrary to anybody's particular uh, feelings what we are saying may be I wish you guys the best that's okay. right and fuck you Jim Claddock for your anti-cigar position yeah talk right anti-cigar fuck talk about tyranny yeah yeah between the two of you and Dan who weighs the most well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We should have had Dan. Our yeah. pig does. <laughs> Hi. Uh, wait. Wait a second. Yeah. You are the only female to call. I noticed that. Uh, I'm go ahead. That. But why, why talk to us. Well, I'm just not sure what the Constitution means. Is it the law? I mean, can we take them to court and sue them? They've broken the law. I'm not really sure. She's right. They've broken the law and they're getting away so with why it. Why are you defending yourself? They should be defending their self. Well, take because they have the power. They can. They have the switch. That's why the, do they have this? Do they have because the Because the city gave. My house and slit my throat? I mean, where's no, the power at? The no. city gave them the power to go into your house, put the cable in there, and to tell you what you can watch. We and got one no, minute. No, I let them in my house. They, they don't have the power to do anything. I gave them money. They came into my house. They installed cable. Why, don't you, they? why don't you call Mr. Aurelio and tell him that Man, tomorrow? you're so right because you're talking common sense. I, th th I just don't understand but why... But you're right, though. Because why, you're all of, uh, why you're defending yourself when the, the, the shoe should be on the other foot. Ma'am, you're right. I commend you because it's very sensical. I I think we've got 20 seconds left. Let's all fight the good fight. Listen, really. They're killing New York. They're killing the United States. Whatever yeah, yeah. we can do, please. Ma'am, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, thanks. I think she uh, sort of, ra not only am I glad to hear that, but I'm also glad to hear it from a few men. Thanks a lot. <laughs> it's important that, uh, that women's voices be heard. I hope, I hope uh, Jim was watching. Yeah, I'll hear, get a bill from him. He's out there. Yes. Yeah, he can hear you. Can you hear him? Yes. I don't know. Yeah, I can hear you. Hey. Hi. I just called the people. So the John come lately. I just think he knows more about it. I'll pass you off to tomorrow. Hello. Hi. You want to call me in the office tomorrow when you... Did you have to clean up? No. Yeah.